And here we usually start with a Peristern long axis view, and that's also the first place that we will use color Doppler. We'll look at flow across the aortic and the mitral valve. You might question yourself why we're using color Doppler here, especially since we have a more or less perpendicular orientation to the flow, both across the aortic and the mitral valve. Well, the reason is you still see the jets and that frequently you have eccentric jets and in this case you will really get the best uh, recording from these views. An important tip, don't place one large color Doppler box across both the aortic and the mitral valve, but use a smaller box and use two projections, one specifically for the aortic valve and one specifically for the mitral valve. Why? Because that increases your frame rate. Now in this specific case we don't see anything across the aortic valve which is abnormal but we do see a little bit of a regurgitant jet here in the region of the mitral valve. So this will help us to detect these pathologies. Let's take a look at where else we can use color Doppler in the peristern long axis view. As mentioned aortic regurgitation, aortic stenosis, here you will see turbulent flow or flow acceleration at the region of the aortic valve mitral regurgitation as we saw in this specific case, mitral stenosis, here we will see a turbulent inflow into the left ventricle, and LVOT obstruction. As a matter of fact, this is a perfect view to determine whether or not flow acceleration actually happens at the valve or below the valve, because in this case you will see flow somewhere down here. And finally, you can also detect a ventricle septal defect, even though this is probably not the ideal view to visualize a VSD.